U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will head to the Middle East this evening to work on preventing the war in Gaza from spreading into a wider conflict. Blinken will visit Israel and other nations important to maintaining stability in that region. KCAU 9's Washington correspondent Anna Warnicke has more. This is Secretary Blinken's fourth trip to the Middle East since the war began, and the State Department says his top priority is de-escalation. The risk is real. The concern is high. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller says the U.S. remains focused on easing tensions in the Middle East. Even if it's tough sometimes, um, it's the job of the United States to do that. Secretary of State Antony Blinken's trip to the region comes just days after a drone strike killed a senior Hamas leader in Lebanon. It is in no one's interest, not Israel's, not the region's, not the world's, for this conflict to spread beyond Gaza. Israel did not claim responsibility for the attack, but both Hamas and Lebanon's Hezbollah military group immediately blamed them and vowed a strong response if Israel continues to target Lebanon. National Security Council spokesman John Kirby says if Israel was responsible, they still have justification. They have a right and a responsibility to go after Hamas leadership. Uh, they've said that they're going to do that. But Kirby says any military action in the region needs to follow international law. We continue to talk to our Israeli counterparts about, again, the manner in which they're conducting military operations uh, and with the foremost in mind, the, the need to protect innocent civilian life. The State Department says while Blinken is in Israel, he will also discuss getting more immediate humanitarian aid to Gaza. For now in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke. Back to you.